Thank you for visiting my channel. I'm Intuitive Empress. Welcome to the table. To be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served up for you on today. This is the person on your mind message and it is for all signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting, eat the meat and don't get choked up on a bone. Thank you to my subscribers for every like, every comment, every subscribe, every share. It is greatly appreciated. All right. To my new and returning viewers who have yet to subscribe to the channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and that bell notification. All right. I do ask that you run up the likes. Yes, please do run up the likes. It does help me with the algorithms of YouTube. All right. Donations are appreciated and welcome. If you like how I read and you would like a personal read, that information is in the description as well as the do information for donations and my personal oracle cards at my SD shop. All right. So please follow the information in the description. I will not reach out to you by DM, by smoke signal in the comments section at all. All of this is a hundred percent voluntary. All right. And I will say again, please like this video if you like how I read and comment in the comment section, especially if it resonates with you. It does help encourage me along this journey. All right. That being said, we are going to get into the read. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God, we do ask that you come into this reading and that you will protect myself and the viewers from all hurt, harm, and danger. Protect them and defend them and war on their behalf against demonic activity of any kind. From every hex, vex, curse, voodoo, hoodoo, shoodoo, whatever. All right? And also from any negative words, low vibrational people, anyone that will try to negatively impact them or delay them in the name of your son yeshua yes and we do thank you for the blessings that you have for us for the message that you're going to give to us in jesus name all right let's get to the message holy spirit tell us about the person on wow the community's mind yes all right, <clears throat> let's just get this together here. Okay, so we have the King of Cups. All right, this was somebody that was supposed to be emotionally mature, or this could be your energy. All right, the King of Cups embodies um, Pisces, um, uh, Cancer and Scorpio, we have the lovers, which is Gemini energy. All right. So this is someone that you saw as your soulmate, someone that was supposed to be your partner. But we have something happening with the Ten of Swords, betrayal, backstabbing, destruction, hitting rock bottom. Someone ruined this relationship. All right. But then they wanted to play the martyr. All right. This was a very painful ending for you. You thought this was someone that you could collaborate with and that would be a even, even give and take somebody working with you, but they did not do so. Wow. All right. So we have the hangman in reverse. Wow. So this is someone who was not spiritually aligned. This is someone who left you in limbo. This is somebody who sacrificed the relationship and made it stagnant, made you be in a constant state of uncertainty, suspended. All right. They wanted you to surrender and surrender and bend to their will. All right. We have justice in the reverse here. So there was you felt like that there was no truth in this person. All right. You felt like that you did not get justice. Um, there may have been some legal issues that may not have gone in your favor. All right. Or this could be the energy of this person. All right. Not getting justice. All right. This person wants to reach out to you. All right. And communicate with you with the eight of wands. So we have fire energy on deck as well as Libra energy. So we have Aries Leo Sagittarius with the Ten of Swords. We have the Aquarius, Libra and Gemini. So more air energy. All right. But this person is only reaching out. 
because you are in the place of wish fulfillment. You are being rewarded for your efforts of dealing with this smug person. You have your wishes are about to be granted. You're going to be getting a lump sum of money, some opportunities to make money, some prosperity is coming into your life, some financial security and stability. This person is coming to you for these things because they do not have stability. They do not have abundance. All right. But you are on the verge of a new beginning with the ace of wands, having good news coming out to you, some growth. All right. Someone in your family might let you know that they had a birth, um, a, you know, a baby shower or something like that. Or you could be pregnant. All right. Take it as it resonates. If you're not of birthing age, then it's not for you. OK. All right. So let's get some situations going on here. I did already shuffle. I always want to shuffle. Holy Spirit. Heavenly angels of the Most High God, Father God, let us know what's going on with this person on the intuitive community's mind. All right, so we have someone coming in to negotiate with you, bargaining, begging, trying to get back into your good graces. All right, this person is threatened and embarrassed. All right, so this person even could try to threaten you if you do not accept their offer here what they're trying to beg and borrow for. Um, for some of you, you could have some legal issues or maybe this person is trying to threaten you because of court work, work you filed. Um, um, what am I thinking of? The restraining orders, um, orders of protection from this person or this person could be feeling embarrassed and by appearances trying to negotiate with you, but they have this legal uh, thing that they have that they're trying to run away from for some of you this person is going to go to jail or did go to jail because some legal things that they're in or this person is just trapped in their mind all right this person wants to have a compromise with you settle with you make things right with you because they are trying to settle up their karma all right this could be the person that you thought was a divine masculine or masculine energy, or you could be a divine masculine dealing with this with a feminine energy, a karmic feminine energy. All right. For some of you, you may change locations because this person wants to keep coming into your energy. All right. Some of you may have just gotten a new house and this person knows that because they have been following you. All right. On this card um, with the negotiation, card the done card fell on so some of you are completely done you learned your karmic lesson but it did come in upside down um for some of you you may not have been um done with this person all right this person is tuned into you and connected to you like a plug into a socket you could be having dreams about this person all right um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the divine feminine. So this person could have been a, a twin flame or should have been, but they have not matured. All right. I already said that you were moving. All right. So this person is very childish. I'm, I'm just picking up that energy or, and, or you could have this person's child. Okay. This person is seeing that time is running out. For them in the next few weeks or months all right again we had the divine feminine on the bottom of the deck so let's see what else is going on okay this person could be very very toxic all right some toxic energy someone who does not want to let you go someone who plays uh different childish games because they are mentally just not mature this person could also have some toxic ways and behaviors uh, people around them um they could have um some toxic people that led them to the legal issue so you might want to cleanse your energy um pray against the soul tie because this person will bring this into your house this person may come and confess what they did to you and confess that they are in love with you but this may be just because um you know, they um, have family with you or they might use that as an excuse 
um, this is somebody who put you on an emotional roller coaster and had you in a mental prison, leaving you sad and broken. But you are in a place of ascension, all right? So you don't want to mess that up. All right. Yeah, we have a pressure cooker. This person is um, focused on you. They have eyes on you. They want to come back in. They're watching you, watching for a good place to come in. This person may be ready to explode when you do not accept their offer and you may need to have intervention and to call law enforcement on this person because they don't want to take no for an answer. Wow. All right, so we're moving right along. Let's go and get these final messages. If you like this reading so far, if it resonated with you, please let me know by liking this video. All right. So we have faithfulness and protection. God is faithful to you because you have been faithful to him and he has protected you. So there is no need to worry. All right. This person may be coming in because the grass was not greener with the third party energy. All right. We do have that. It is time for something new. So do not go back to this old energy, which could be Libra energy. All right. Or this could be your sign or Libra does represent balance. It does represent justice. So you could be getting justice because Libra did come out in the upright. All right. And we have bring good things out of the vast goodness in your heart. That is Luke 6 and 45. All right. Let's see what else do we have, Holy Spirit. Or, ooh, okay, that's a lot. All right. So we have a Leo energy here. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Or you could have that somewhere in your chart. Does not have to be. Someone's going through a spiritual awakening. And I do believe that it is you, community. All right. Because you were on your best behavior. All right, you did not cheat when this person cheated. You did not do them wrong. All right, you stood tall in this relationship, and it says you refuse to be mistreated or feel sorry for yourself. You refuse you refuse to allow this person to treat you poorly, and you did not feel sorry for yourself when thing when this person wouldn't keep it one hundred with you. All right, but you kept it one hundred. Yeah, this person wasn't keeping it 100 because it was so many lies. Spirit is spirit is saying, this is unbelievable. This person just lying so much. All right? Someone felt like you owed them and they tried to destroy you. Okay, so this person thought that you owed them something. They felt like they were entitled um, to something um, and everything like that or something that you had. And they tried to destroy you when you did. they did not get what they wanted. All right? For others of you, it could be the karmic energy that did come up in this read. All right. That's having the legal issues. This person who had you in the hangman energy. All right. Great visions cannot be comprehended by small minds. So you could have had a lot of arguments with this person regarding the vision that you had for your life, for your business, for your career. We have Aries coming out, so that could be your sign or the person, other person's sign. We have someone who is acting like they care when they really don't. So this person, for some of you, this person is going to come in and act like they care, that they're so sorry, but that's not what the case is. They just want something from you. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, Holy Spirit. All right. So it says you are letting go of people, places and things that no longer serve you. This is why this person was upset, because in the past you could have been someone who maybe didn't stand up for yourself or they felt like that you wouldn't stand up for yourself. Um, for some of you, you may have been waiting and biding your time. Um, this person was um, gossiping about you, like, you know, and everything like that, leaving you for other people. Um, but you kept smiling. And laughing from your soul and from your heart. All right. 
<laughs> now that this person is gone, it says you can now enjoy your blessings. Wow. Speak good. All right. Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to your bones. So keep speaking those positive things, those positive affirmations. This is based on Psalm 16 and 24. The Most High sees your tears and will wipe them away. Take comfort in his grace. So for some of you, again, are, are reading, are showing up to this in different states. Some of you may still be hurt, may still be crying. All right. And the spirit is saying it is okay to cry. All right. But don't stay in that state of mourning too long. This is for the people who are still in that state. Some people are not. Some people have been um, healed and set free from that state. And I just noticed that the cars were so far away. <laughs> um, but, you know, don't stay in that energy. All right. Be quick to cut off people. Um, you know, it's not time for pettiness. All right. So this person is going to come in being petty. All right. Keep winning. And let the haters hate. Yeah, like I said, people are going to talk regardless. Someone overstayed their welcome in your energy. And that's just that. This person is. Um, so for some of you, you're dreaming about this person. That's because they're still in your energy. And they overstayed their welcome. All right. And they're going to be booted out of your energy very 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 soon all right if you like this reading let me know by liking this video give me that thumbs up all right comment in the comment section and i'll see you next time bye, -bye.